try some adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with fractions when there are positives and negatives today. Here's an example. It's a subtraction problem with some fractions. So we've got common denominator issues. We've got a small number subtracting a bigger number. We've got a mixed number. So let's attack each of those separately. Let's change that mixed number to an improper fraction. You don't have to do it this way, but that is my preference. So that turns into 23 tenths. Okay, now we can also change this to add the opposite. So what we really have here is a positive plus a negative, and that means it's a subtraction problem. The negative number is the larger number, so we're going to end up with a negative answer when we're done. For common denominators, I like the straightforward approach of just multiplying the two denominators. So that works. Then for the numerators, you can just cross multiply. So that one is 50. This one is 391. Okay, so in order to complete this problem, we need to subtract. We have negative 341 over 170 for our answer. Those don't share any common factors, so you can actually leave the answer the way it is. If you prefer mixed numbers, you can take it a step further and do the division. It goes in two times with one left over out of 170. So that's your other possible answer. Okay, here's a subtraction problem where we've got a negative number subtracting a positive number. So let's change this to add the opposite. So really it's adding two negative numbers, which means we are going to add these two quantities together and the answer will be one big negative number. So let's change this to an improper fraction to get started. Let's think of it this way. We've got an addition problem that will turn out negative. So this turns into 43 ninths and this is still 13 fourteenths. And we wanna add all of that. So let's deal with the common denominators next. 9 times 14 is 126 and cross multiplying we get 117 over here and 602 for that one. So the negative answer is the sum of these two things which is 719 126. Those don't share any common factors, so we leave it like that, or you can divide and change it to negative 5 and 89 126. Either answer is correct and simplified. Here's a multiplication problem. We've got a negative times another negative, so the answer will be positive. We can disregard those we do need to get rid of the mixed number. So we've got 2 thirteenths times 42 elevenths. You can just multiply straight across. 84 over 143 is our final answer. Uh, no common factors. I can tell that because back here, if you think what the factors are in the top, you've got 2 times uh, 6 times 7, 6 is made of 2 times 3, so those are all the prime factors of 84. And the prime factors of 143 are 13 and 11, so there's no common factors, and we are done. Here's a division problem. So we have a negative divided by a positive, so the answer is going to be negative. You need to change each one of them to an improper fraction. So we've got 31 fifths divided by 20 ninths. And our convention for division is to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So multiply straight across both of those. And we get 279 over 100, which is 2 and 79 hundredths. And either of those is simplified. And there's your fraction review with positives and negatives.